Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. So, the human body and how it processes the food we ingest evolves very little over time. So when we're thinking about the diet of our ancestors, if they did eat so much meat like in the paleo days, the hunter-gatherer times, or even after agriculture came along, at certain times of year they would have had a lot of meat dairy and animal products and therefore cholesterol would be high in their diet makes us wonder about the question what were their cholesterol levels like how healthy were they and how did they not die of heart attacks so young like all of our doctors are telling us they should of course they didn't have lab tests back then and medication to keep on top of those things but they had other ways things they ate that unknowingly lowered their cholesterol Yesterday we spoke about the foods, today we are speaking about the vitamins and minerals that have cholesterol lowering effects and what foods they can be found in and what time of year and how long in history that our ancestors have had access to them. As always this is not medical advice, I'm not a doctor, not a nutritionist and I never claim to be and I've never spoke about nutrition on this channel. And I've never recommended any diet, I've only ever spoken about the history here and what ancient humans would have eat. The only additional thing I'm doing in this video is relaying some of the scientific studies that can be found in the description below about what vitamins and minerals may have some cholesterol lowering effects. So you can check those out if you want, but on to the video. First we have niacin or vitamin B3. This is probably the biggest one. This is one of the few that we can be certain lowers cholesterol in the right doses. What kinds of food have niacin? Well, funny enough, it's a lot of the same foods that give us high cholesterol in the first place. The red meats, the beef, the beef liver, pork, poultry, fish. These all have good levels of niacin. Of course, these are things that have been available to humans all around the world for many thousands of years. I'm not suggesting you should eat more red meat if you want to lower cholesterol, absolutely not. Just saying that the right balance and right type of meat is a good idea. Liver especially is something that humans ate a lot more previously in history that has a good amount of niacin in it that we don't tend to eat a lot of today. Brown rice also has a lot of niacin eaten in Asia forever. Certain nuts and seeds also have very good niacin. They have been eaten by humans all around the world for thousands of years as well. And the nuts and seeds are very cool because you can preserve them and they can be stored and eaten year round. Many legumes also have good niacin. Those are also found in certain types of them all over the world, at least in the legume family. And they too are easily preserved and able to be eaten long after their harvest, which tends to be in the late summer or fall. Bananas also, funny enough, one of the only fruits that have good niacin, originally native to Southeast Asia and the islands of that region, but brought all over the world now and grown in many places, making it easy for people to get niacin in their diet who may have a difficult time doing so otherwise. Next mineral is zinc. It's also been found to help lower LDL cholesterol levels and raise HDL cholesterol levels in some studies. Again, zinc is in a lot of these same foods that are said to give us high cholesterol in the first place. Meat, fish, and other seafood, especially shellfish, they have high zinc and they are available to humans at all times of year if you're living by a coastal region, of course. Eggs and dairy products also contain a decent amount of zinc. Again, kind of contradictory that these foods can both lower and raise cholesterol, but nature works in mysterious ways. Vitamin C. Some studies have found that vitamin C lowers LDL cholesterol levels, although the evidence is a little bit mixed. Uh, but vitamin C is the easiest to get in our diets because it's available everywhere in the world at all times of year. There are plenty of foods with great vitamin C. The best sources are citrus, like the oranges, lemons, grapefruits, even kiwis. These are mostly native to Asia, but grown elsewhere. 
two in the world for a long time. The Mediterranean has grown citrus for uh, at least one or two thousand years, but most fruits have some amount of vitamin C. Also, some vegetables have vitamin C, especially the bell peppers, tomatoes, and the cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, all have good vitamin C. The problem is, in the winter time, for those of us who are from cooler regions, none of these other things are growing. And vitamin C foods are actually some of the hardest to preserve. We can't really dry these and preserve them so often, so us people being from the snow, we need something else. Pine needles. This is the greatest source of vitamin C in the cooler regions of the world. Different types of evergreen pine needles have great amounts of vitamin C and has been a long tradition of being in the human diet, eaten in the winter when we need vitamin C the most. Next, vitamin E has been found to have cholesterol lowering effects in some studies. Some good foods with vitamin E are the nuts and seeds, especially sunflower seeds, almonds, peanuts, and other types of nuts and seeds that can be found pretty much anywhere in the world and eaten year round as they are easily preserved. Vitamin E is also available in some vegetables, beet greens, collard greens, spinach, pumpkins, red bell peppers, asparagus, avocado, and they're also things that can be found native to most places in the world, and most of them come in season in the fall. So that is just some way pretty much everyone in the world could get some vitamin E in their diets in ancient times. And finally, my favorite of all the vitamins and minerals, magnesium. It has been found to lower LDL cholesterol levels and raise HDL cholesterol levels in some studies. And guys, the reason magnesium is my favorite of all the minerals and vitamins is because it's so hard to get in the regular diet. But it is so important. It's the only supplement I take year round because I guarantee probably all of you watching are going to be deficient in magnesium. Some good sources of magnesium are spinach and other leafy green vegetables that can be found all over the world and they have quite a long growing season too. Also nuts and seeds are good sources of magnesium along with the legumes as well. Also different types of those found in many places in the world and high in niacin and vitamin E too. So maybe if you take anything from this video, the nuts and seeds um, may be the most pound per for pound effective ways at lowering cholesterol um, with your average vitamins and minerals that is. So that's all for today. As always, there is no one miracle food. The key is to just have a well-balanced diet. It's something that all of our ancestors would have had access to at all times of the year. They would have had adaptations to help them do this and ways to preserve and get the food at the time they needed it, uh, no matter where you are from in the world.